Hello friends, I'm Dr. Rohit Batra from Dermaworld Skin and Hair Clinics and today we are going to talk about a condition, a scenario, the panic all across the world that is coronavirus or COVID-19. Now everyone nowadays is talking about corona, 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 okay? But what exactly is it and how we need to prevent it, how we need to protect ourselves against it and is there any need to panic? We're going to talk about that today. So it's a novel virus, we all know, and the symptoms are that of a common cold or a flu, just like a flu symptom. So if someone is suffering from fever, has a flu-like cold, or is having uh, erythema on the face, and is not feeling well, there is body aches, etc. So the person might be suffering from coronavirus or the COVID-19 virus. It's not that everyone who is suffering from fever or everyone who is suffering from cold or cough is suffering from the disease. But yes, if you are having such symptoms, you should visit your physician who will take down your symptoms, take your uh, temperature and then if it is required, will investigate for the condition. There is no need to panic, okay? Everyone nowadays is buying so much of sanitizers, so many of masks, etc. that the cost of these things have skyrocketed and then people are using it whether it is of any use or not. So just to prevent it, make sure you are not traveling out to places where there are large gatherings, you are not going out unnecessarily. Of course, the government has taken many steps and school colleges and cinema halls are closed for the time being. But yes, as a responsible citizen and to prevent from such conditions to affect you or your family, you should also restrict your movement. Of course, if there is any requirement, this urgent requirement, you can go there, but avoid such areas. Why? Because even if a single person who is asymptomatic at present, that means he is not having any symptoms of flu, but is there in that gathering and you shake hands with that guy, you talk to them, you are in close contact, you just touch the clothes or you, you went to the toilet or are uh, 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 just touching the same railing that he has uh, touched. So it can, because it's a fomite bond, so you can contact the virus and later, say after 10-15 days, you might get the symptoms of the virus. So it's always better to protect yourself, to avoid when such a panic is there all throughout the world. Now comes the sanitizers and the hand washing. We all have been using sanitizers. We all have been washing our hands. So there is no need to panic and buy all the sanitizers that is available with the chemist or in the, your supermarket. Make sure whenever you touch, whenever you are out, you shake your hand, which should be avoided, the namaskar that is prevalent in Bharat is much better nowadays. So even if someone wants to shake your hands, just greet them with the namaskar and that is taken care of. So you are not being rude at the same time. You are preventing that shake of hands also that even if the person is affected, you are not being contaminated by that fomite born virus. So just wash your hand when you come home. If you touch something that is foreign in the sense you have gone out or you have touched someone else's car or shaken hands or if you have got a courier after that you just go wash your hand that's it as far as the sanitizers are concerned just sanitizers contain few alcohol and other chemical that clear the virus they kill the virus and so if you are just rubbing it once it's more than enough Otherwise, now I have seen people who have started washing their hands every now and then and using sanitizer, they have started getting hand dermatitis. So there is no need to panic. Just keep your calm. Make sure you are not doing anything unnecessarily. And whenever you feel that, okay, I have done something with a foreign object or I have shaken hands or I have come in contact with someone, just wash your hands and that's it. As far as the masks are concerned, the normal three-ply mask is enough for those who are who want to prevent themselves from getting in contact with the virus. So use that mask and make sure that you dispose of that mask. You cut that into four pieces and then throw away because there are many news that are coming that masks are being recycled and they have been 
given to others to use it that can create a blunder okay so make sure it's a re it's not a reusable mask it's a disposable mask that you get in the market the normal three ply mask the surgical mask and you just cut it into four when you have used it and throw it in your dustbin so that no one can take that mask and reuse that mask of course those who are suffering from the viral infection they need to or those who are having flu like symptoms they need to use those n95 masks etc and of course if you know someone who has uh, such symptoms they should definitely go to the nearby location the like in uh, delhi we have in the rml hospital that is uh, meant for covid and coronavirus patients so they should go there get the, themselves uh, investigated and if at all it is there there is no need to panic because the mortality of this virus is not as such that there is uh the uh, there's something need to be panicked because the swine flu and other virus that have rocked the world in in last decade or so had much more mortality compared to corona so it's uh, you know uh, there is no need for you to worry about uh, the panic that has engulfed all of us and we are sitting at home watching all the social media and uh, going through the internet and, and the news and newspapers keep your calm just do these things and hopefully we will come out with this dreaded uh, condition that has engulfed the whole world and we as indians have good immunity good eat good healthy diet and if at all someone is having some sort of an infection get them treated and those who are on immunosuppressant drugs they need to be vigilant the elderly needs to be more taken care of because the mortality if at all is there is in that set of population so hopefully uh, we have cleared your doubts and now you are not that worried and you are able to know what exactly the virus is all about and you can take care of you and your family and friends and no need to panic thank you